Hi and welcome to all the UPSC and state civil services aspirants in the Abhimanyu IS. So as you all know that Abhimanyu IS is having history of producing more than 2200 results since 1999 and is grooming the students in the form of coaching and personal mentorship to appear in the UPSC and state civil services exam. Today I have come again on a YouTube series in concepts in polity and I want to uh, tell you that my name is Pravesh Watts and I am the faculty of Indian polity, constitution, governance in the Abhimanyu IS. So today I have come with a topic called capitalism versus socialism. I mean this is a very important topic to understand because this is a core part of our syllabus for the UPSC and uh, on this the UPSC always frame questions whether it is the prelims part or it is the mains part in direct or in molded form right so before I start again I want to explain that uh, we the Abhimanyu IS are providing civil services one year coaching and personal mentorship for the next 2023 and 24 and I am coming with a module on Indian polity in which I will be explaining and I will be teaching and giving personal mentorship on Indian polity, constitution and governance for both prelims and mains and we will be covering GS2 also which is the core part of our mains paper regarding Indian polity. So those who wants to join it they may get its link in the description box and I am providing three days free trial of my module on Indian polity so those who wants to join and those who wants to continue their journey to become civil servant with the Abhimanyu IS they may come and they may join us. This course of prelims and mains will be available in both online and offline mode and further details will be getting in the description box. So now let's continue on our topic which is capitalism versus socialism. So on the first slide we will be dealing specifically with capitalism. What is it all about? Right? So these are few salient features of capitalism. First it is a philosophy of capitalist class. The class of elites, the class of richest people who have control over the means of production. Right? So who have control over means of production. This is the simplest, exact and the important definition of the capitalist class. The class which have enough resources which control the means of production. The means of production is the sources or the resources in the society which are required and which are very essential to continue society in itself, right? So that is the means of production. The whole economic machinery lying in the hands of one class, the capitalist or the richest class. So that class is called capitalist class. Second, as I mentioned, means of productions are owned by capitalists. Industry, economic resources, geographical resources, all are owned by the capitalist class, right? Profit which is earned as per own labor, no society help. They believe that whatever profit they are generating, whatever the resources they are generating in the name of means of production, when they are running the means of production, obviously when someone do an act, he do that act or he does that act with an intention to get something and they have the intention to get the profit, right? So they say that whatever the profit we are getting, that profit is owned by only with the help of our own labor, our own action, right? So labor denotes our own actions. No other fellow human being has any right to say that this labor belongs to us also, right? And no societal help though they utilize the actions of the labor of the labor class and they provide them wages but they say that 
we are since providing them wages so they are not legible to get the share of this profit this profit is only because we are doing more hard work and we are having the means of production we are taking a lot of risk so and so forth so that that is why this profit belongs to us so capitalist class is a class which is having profit and they think that this profit belongs to them they favors liberties over the duties this is a significant feature of capitalist class because they have their association with the liberalism which talks about liberty this class belongs that we want liberty we want freedom to do whatever we wants to do right so we have two forms of liberalism also first is negative which says a man should have liberty to do whatever he wants to do right but that is negative because if someone is having power to do whatever he wants to do so since we are social and political animal we can kill someone and that would be justiciable therefore we have a reformative view of liberalism which is called positive liberalism under which we should have the freedom to do whatever we, we wants to do but that should come with a reasonable restrictions we should not kill someone else the freedom which we are enjoying our other fellow beings are also enjoying the same level of freedom so they favors liberty right over duties they say that we should not being provide we should not be provided with the duties either by the society or by the states we are rational beings we should be given liberty freedom to do whatever we wants to do and the importance why they favored liberty to perform economic actions without someone's interference with whether it is society or it is state right so now move on next slide it says that salient features of socialism right because our topic is capitalism versus socialism so socialism is a philosophy of modern day right why modern day because first capitalism comes and then as a critique of capitalism to criticize the exploitative nature of capitalism came the philosophy of socialism which says that no society state and other fellow human beings are also equal uh, shareholder of the profit which you are earning and this criticize exploitative nature of the capitalism because the earlier capitalism was practiced in very exploitative forms because of the industrial revolution and the greed because of urbanization under which the human beings was not considered as human beings they were considered as cog in the wheel which means they were subjected to exploitation in the name of profit which was earned by capitalist class socialist to say that whole society is the owner of means of production the economic resources or the primary resources to generate profit in the society and for the continuance of the existence of the society every single individual is equitable shareable in the means of production or in the economic resources no single class can dominate the means of resources this is the socialist view then they favors equality of a liberty because socialist have seen that liberty gives right to freedom to everyone but when we are not having equality then liberty becomes negative in the form of some who are having enough resources they in the name of enjoying their freedom gets their dominance over the other society fellow beings and that is what was done under the capitalism or under the umbrella of capitalism because of which it was criticized by the socialism in the modern days so they favor equality that no before freedom we need to have equality everyone should be equal only then the liberty can be enjoyed with the reasonable restrictions everyone will enjoy their liberty by considering other few other fellow human beings that he is also having liberty then this is society is prior to individual hence profit is for all this is now they have here organic view of society that they say that society comes prior to individual individual is not supreme individual is not coming first first society is coming right and for the capitalist it is just a sum of individuals society but society for the socialist is a organic thing 
is a thing which is not created by man which is organic which is itself created because of the collective wisdom of the people or the wishes of the people and society represents happiness society represents collective wisdom society represents ultimate actions right of all the human beings rather than actions of one individual right therefore they say that profit should be distributed equally in all constituent parts of the society so this much is all about the capitalism and socialism which needs to be understood by the people who are preparing for the upsc and state civil services the reason being in the pre in the prelims as well as in the mains exam because of the dicey nature of the exam today the questions are getting appeared very theoretical and very philosophical which everyone knows so one should have a clear understanding of these terms to mark correct answer in the prelims and to define these terms in your mains exam so this much is all about this series video will be coming again with a new topic on a different day so this much is enough for today so stay healthy stay wealthy read well and prepare well for the next coming exam which is in may 2022 of the upsc so thank you and thank you so much